Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to properly groom Aussie tails. I have two different angles set up, which are two different um, important angles for you to see the process and also see the end result. Um, also I'm going to have two different dogs here. Um, I have Aubrey here who has a shorter tail, she's docked really close. And then I'm going to bring up Turbo who has a longer tail to show you two, two different types of grooming on two different types of tails. Um, so before you start trimming, always important thing. Just make sure the tail is completely brushed out, tail area. So I've got my slicker brush here. Um, I've already kind of done that. She actually had a bath yesterday, so she's easy to go through. But also make sure you have your comb. I'll be just to make sure you have all the knots out and you're combing the hair straight before you start to trim. So I've got my thinning shears next. So after I've combed the dog's hair out, I'm going to take my thinning shears and the first thing I'm going to do, I kind of push the uh, fluffy hair in and then I'm just going to get the tail hair and go straight across. Um, you don't want to go too wide, so basically maybe two inches or so of just the tail. So I've got my thinning shears here and I'm going straight across. So that's the first angle, um, always a starting point for grooming all the tails. Um, the second angle is I normally will go straight at the tail with my thinning shears. Um, what this one does is it kind of brings up the top line. Uh, well, brings up, not the top line, but brings up the croup so there's not as steep of a slope. But also what this does is if your dog is longer and you want to give the illusion of them being shorter, you could trim this a lot closer and it'll give the illusion of a shorter back dog. Um, but for normal dogs, I don't normally trim at this angle too hard. It's just to give it a finish. So I go straight at the tail here, just straight up and down. And period periodically you'll want to just comb through to make sure the hair is still going straight. And I'll basically just continue doing that in the other angle until I'm satisfied with the look I have. You want to make sure you don't go too short here because you don't want to see their, you know, their butthole. So you might want to lift it up to make sure you're not getting too close. It's hard to see at this angle if I'm straight or not. But basically that is all I would do for really short tails. Um, another thing for any tail you could do, if your dog tends to have a messier butt, you can use clippers or you can also use um, just straight scissors. And if you lift up the tail, you can actually cut around or clip some of the hair that's really close to that area. So I'll go on the other side here. Basically, you're not going to see this because the way you trim, you don't want to see the, this area anyways. But all I'm doing is I'm just going to get this hair away from the area so that um, they'll have a clean poop. I don't know how else to explain it. Basically, that's all you'll do just to clear the area away of the hair so that they don't get anything caught in the hair. And then you don't see anything I just did, so that's totally safe to do. You're not going to see it. Um, just make sure not to go too far with the clippers or the scissors. So I'm just going to make sure the tail is straight. And that's it for this one. Um, now I'm going to get the other dog, Turbo, to show you how to do a longer tail. Okay. Alright, so here I have Turbo, who has a longer tail. Um, and I will demonstrate how to groom his type of tail. So I'm just going to brush him out like I did Aubrey. He also got a bath yesterday, so it's super easy to do this. Basically, a slicker brush and then just a comb to make sure all the tangle and knots are out. And the reason why I have to trim his tail a little differently is because when he moves, he actually can hold it up and it throws off his top line. 
I can actually grab his tail like you would like a box or a dope. And as you can see, especially at this angle here, it really throws off his top line. It's like a protruding, we call it a duckbill spoiler, but <laughs> I'm basically going to trim it so you don't see that um, really hard jot out of his tail when he's moving. Um, so first step is the same as with Aubrey. I'm going to comb it out and then I'm just going to trim straight across. And I do have to go wider with him because when he lift his, lifts his tail up, some of this outside hair comes up with it. But generally I would not want to trim this wide if I didn't have to. So I'm just going straight across. And then again with him, I'm going to do that same angle where I went straight at the hair, at the tail. So again, for some dogs, this will shorten up their the illusion of their back. So shorten, shorten in length if you need to do that. So after I've done that, I'm basically going to kind of physically hold his tail up and then trim at another angle. So I'm grabbing his tail here, holding it straight up. And this is how he normally holds it when he moves. He's gotten used to me holding it like this. Some dogs might not be as calm about it. But basically, I just want to trim the hair here that's sticking up, kind of straight up like that, um, so that you don't see it sticking up anymore. So I'm, I'm just going straight down with the scissors, so parallel to his top line. And I'm just trimming the ends of the hair that stick up when I'm holding his tail up. Also, again, I'm going to go straight at the angle here, straight at his tail, a different angle. Just making sure none of the hair, when he does hold his tail up like this, is going to stick out. So it is um, trimming heavier than I typically like, but it, at least when he moves, you won't be able to see his tail sticking up. So there we've done. We've covered that angle when he moves. And also it's a good idea for, um, if, if you're not sure what your dog's tail looks like when it moves, just take him off the table and have somebody else move him for you. If your dog has a longer tail, it's possible he just holds it straight out so you don't have to hold it up and trim it like that. It basically depends on how the dog holds it when he moves and if it throws off the total look of the dog. So after combing it out again, there's still Still looks a little bit messy, so I'm gonna just trim it a little bit more. And then again, just finishing up. So I'm using only thinning shears for this. Still hard to see, kind of, <laughs> with the camera, but basically, so that's it. Um, now we have his tail that's all trimmed up and ready to go. Um, so yeah, that's it. Thanks you guys for watching.